let's just um start right now. Um, Bluffsaurus. Bluffsaurus currently it's an easy A tier. It's really fast. It has venom, which can make you hallucinate, make uh, limiting your vision and making decoys that can damage you. It's very powerful currently. Gallimimus, C tier. Nothing good nor bad about it really, other than the fact that it's really really fast. Trudon. D, bottom of D tier, because it's literally useless. It's just a tiny Dilophosaur without any venom. Ostraptor, um, basically a bigger Bimpy that can sense things underwater, which could be pretty useful against stuff like Dinos or Spinos. And again, Bimpy. Bimpy, pretty good. I mean, it's nothing necessarily bad nor good about him. He can swim really fast, but that's pretty much it. And he can catch fish. Carno. Carno is pretty difficult to rank. Kind of like Packy. Because he's changed so much in these updates. When he first released, he was objectively the best dinosaur in the entire game. So, but currently he's kind of bad, so I'm just going to put him in B tier. Ceratosaurus, pretty much the better Carnotaurus, but slower. With the ability to make you vomit, um, having, being really tanky, getting a big, massive damage buff when near are big corpses, such as Stego or Dinosuchus corpses. With that buff being so powerful, sometimes you just can't even fight them because of how strong they are near stuff like adult stego and dino corpses. So, not to mention, they can eat literally everything. Literally, the Esserado, the only thing you have to worry about is your diet. That's literally all you need to worry about because Serato can eat both rotten meat, it can eat bones. And that's pretty much it. But just Serato is just a better Carno, in my opinion, minus the speed. Now, Dinosuchus. I would say Dino doesn't quite make it into S tier, but he's still extremely good currently. So I'm just going to put him at the top of A tier. Um, Dino does is really tanky, and he does a lot of damage. Plus, he can grab you and drown you, which is pretty scary. But... There is nothing much to say about him. With the really the only downsides being that Dino is very limited to the water because of how slow it is on land. And another thing, because um Dino Dinos are on you well, Dino's diet. Other Dinos are on Dino's diet. I don't know if that makes sense, but you get what I mean. Which encourages cannibalism which can be a bit frustrating if you're just a little baby gator trying to live just for a freaking 70 ton apex monster to freaking devour you serato also has its own kind on its diet but for some reason serato players don't really seem to like to cannibalize each other um dryosaurus dryo mm. Dryo is absolutely nothing special. Dryo might get bumped up to here, to maybe like pat right right here, like from here to right here. Once he gets his burrowing, but I doubt Dryo will get burrowing anytime soon. So right now he's just stuck here. Really, the only thing new he got was a directional attack, which I guess is cool. Herrera, the newest creature, as uh, along with Dilo, um. Herrera is really cool. I mean, I like his design. Playing as him is really fun since you can climb up trees and stuff and ambush people. And another cool thing, the higher you are on a tree, the more damage you do if you pounce on someone. So if you're on, like, the tallest tree on the map, you will actually, like, insta-kill, like, Omnis. So, I'm just gonna put them, like... I'm just going to put him, like, right here. Actually, I'm just going to bump up Serato to here. Because Serato can... In the right circumstances, Serato can 
obliterate most of the roster except Dino. Because, I mean, it's Dino. Um, Herrera can climb up everything, making it ridiculously easy to escape predators. Um, and then we have Hypsilophodon. Uh, it, it's very obvious. Well, actually, this tier list is based on the most recent version of them. So I'm just going to bump Hypsilophodon to S tier. Because currently, you can permanently blind people. So, that's that's terrifying. Well, actually, no. I'm just putting back him, putting him back down here. Because Hypsilophodon, that was fixed a long time ago. Pretty, quite a long time ago. Kentrosaurus, based off of the concept art, I guess he's not that good. Probably I'm just going to put him, like, right here. Nothing special about him other than the fact that he's a mini Stegosaurus. He's like a portable edition of Stegosaurus. Magisaurus, Magirosaurus, however you say it. Um, nothing necessarily special about this guy other than the fact that he's a tiny uh, portable sauropod, which I guess is pretty funny. Plus, he can he seems to be able to run pretty fast, but. Literally in the concept art, all he's shown to do is, like, I guess, like, hip check or tackle or serrato, which I guess is cool. So I'm just going to put him, like, I guess, like, right here. But other than that, I can definitely see how serrato and carnal and even freaking Dilophosaurus and Omni might be able to abuse this poor little nugget. Next up, Oviraptor. Um, there's, all this guy does is just steal eggs, and I think most people know, not many people nest on this game, so it's very rare to encounter a nest, so I'm just going to put this guy slightly above Dryosaurus, because if you get this guy, if you play as him, you'll probably just starve to death within like 20 minutes, because you won't be able to find any nests. Pachycephalosaurus. Um... In the past, recent past, past updates, Packy has been pretty bad. He gets bullied by Ovi. I mean, Omniraptor. Um, and even, don't even get me started with Carno. Carno obliter used to obliterate Packy, same with Serato. But now Packy actually can defend himself, so, very well. He can actually, like, literally obliterate your skeletal structure. So, I'm just gonna put him right here. Protoceratops, we literally know nothing about this guy, other than the fact that he can drink salt water, which I guess is cool, and he can burrow. So I'm just going to put him right here, since he's pretty much, I imagine, just a slightly bigger dryo that can drink salt water. Pteranodon. Um, it's just, Pteranodon is very boring for like... After you first learn how to catch fish as Pteranodon, he's f it's fun for like 10 minutes before you get bored and kill yourself to play as an actually fun dinosaur. So, I'm just... Really, the only reason why people play this guy is to spectate awesome uh, Omniraptor gang wars. So, I'm just gonna put him right here. With really the only... Actually, I'm gonna put him... Like, right here. With the only reason why is because he's the only flying creature in the game. Other than the pterodactyl AI. But those those guys are irrelevant. Stegosaurus! Um, I would say Stego's, like, right here. Stego obliterates every single dinosaur in the game, really. Currently, except Dino. Because, honestly, it's a flip of the coin. If the Dino gets dominated... Or the Stego gets dominated. It's a flip of the coin. So I'm just going to put him right here since he does massive damage. Like a comedic amount of damage. Um, but he's really slow. Guess that's really it. Um, Suko. One of my most favorite dinos. I would probably say he's a little bit better than Suko. I mean, Garno. Because. I would, because Suko in the concept art, he appears to be more of a fisherman than a fighter, but still extremely capable of, of, of 
squaring up with mid tiers like Carno, Serato. But that's about it. And oh, and also you can like I guess, and I'm pretty sure in the concept art he's shown to be able to carry his babies in his mouth like a real life crocodile and alligator, which is pretty cool. Tenethosaurus, another dinosaur with a pretty rocky history. Ever since he was first released, aka when every emo was released, um, I would say he's about right here. He's a jack of all trades. Actually, no, I'm just gonna move him like, like right here. He's a jack of all trades. He's pretty fast. He has good stamina, and he, he does okay damage, okay health, but really, he's not good at anything, nor is he bad at anything. So I'm just gonna put him right here. Tyrannosaurus, obviously S tier. This guy will do absolutely horrifying amounts of damage. Probably do Bone Break too. Probably be extremely tanky. And this guy can tear down human structures, which by the time he's released, being a human would literally be a horror movie if you ever hear a Rex broadcast in the distance. Because you know you're not safe in any human structure. Um, Omniraptor. Eh, I'm just gonna put him ahead of Ostraptor. Well, actually, I'm, I'm just gonna put him, like, right here. Because with the thing with Omniraptor, he's kind of like Herrera, but can't climb trees, but better. Like, I mean, Omni, he's pretty, he's fast. He has alright stamina, okay stamina regeneration. He does decent damage. Um, he's a little bit fragile, but and also he can pounce, which is very good. Um, yeah, and and also in the future, he's eventually going to be able to climb like Herrera, but instead of uh, only taking only draining stamina while sprinting up trees, he's going to take a lot of stamina, even just climbing up trees so same with hipsy Spirionix. um i'm probably gonna put um head of omni Spirionix probably is going to be the chain the link between mid and low tier because barry he's he's the perfect in but perfect in between of medium size and relatively small size i would say um Barry is obviously seen to be a lot more land-based than something like Spino or Suko. And, I mean, just look at those gnarly claws, bro. That thing would rip you apart. But, yeah, I'm imagining he would kind of be, like, bimpy in terms of, like, surprising amounts of damage from his size. He would probably be pretty fast on land. Uh, obviously, he, well, he should be able to catch fish. Um, excuse me. So, I'm just gonna put him, like, just keep him right here. I don't know why there's a second Dinosuchus. Uh, do I have Gallimet? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do... No. Yeah, I don't know why this tier... This tier list sucks. I don't know why there's duplicates of every single dinosaur. But, yeah, um, that's all. Um... Comment down down below your guys' thoughts. But, uh, yeah, bye.